Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and please smash the like button. Thank you so much. Diddy apologized and begged for forgiveness in a video posted on his Instagram page today. He acknowledged kicking and stomping his former girlfriend, Cassie, in a hotel video from 2016. Diddy admitted, I effed up. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life, but sometimes you got to do that, he said. I was effed up. I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, and I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help, started going to therapy and rehab, had to ask God for his mercy and grace. Check out the video, you guys. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. But sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy going to rehab, had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry, but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. P.R. Kaka. P.R. Kaka. He never once mentioned Cassie's name. That is who he needs to be apologizing to publicly. He never said her name. He didn't say sorry to Cassie. Too busy talking about himself, his rock bottom, etc. F you, Puffy. He's only sorry that the entire world saw him beat and drag Cassie like a rag doll. I see no remorse. Look at him. This guy is pure evil. This guy is a demon. He is a stone, cold, inhumane, narcissistic monster who sees human as objects to use as he sees fit. Because Cass is not the only one. Mary J. Blige got beat. Misa Hilton got beat. Kim Porter got beat. Gina got beat. A lot of people got beat. Young Miami got beat. Even men, everyone got beat. He's not sorry. He's sorry that he got caught. He is sadistic. He's trying to save his brand. He wants you guys. That apology was for you guys because he know there are a lot of idiots, millions of idiots in this world who's going to be like, yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. That's what he's banking on. And a lot of you guys are supporting this loser still. This guy still has 20 million followers. Why? Why? His shit should be at zero right now. This loser was standing by that freaking post where he said, let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. This is what he said. He had that on his page until just... 30 minutes ago, he removed it. He had that statement on his page since December 6, 2023. He just now took it down 30 minutes ago. And I see why. I just saw that Cassie's lawyer, while well, one of her lawyers, is slamming his apology. Check this out. Cassie's legal team is crapping on Diddy's apology over the leaked 2016 video that shows him assaulting her, calling him a hypocrite and suggesting he misled the public. Meredith Firetalk issued a statement Sunday saying, Combs, 
most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt. Yup. She adds, when Cassie and multiple other women came forward, he denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday. She added that he was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false, shows his pathetic desperation, and no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words. Yeah. Exactly. This was a fake apology. This was for the public. As I said earlier, it's for the public. It's for you guys. You guys. It wasn't for Cassie and the other victims, the hundreds, if not thousands of victims. It was for you guys. So you guys, you guys need to wake up and stop giving these people power. Stop putting money in these losers' pockets. You guys are making these people untouchable. It's you guys. Do you know we have the power? We have the power to make people rich, to make people live a certain way. We can stop that easily by stop buying their things. Stop supporting these demons. Tommy Mottola, Dr. Dre, Jay-Z, Diddy, all of them are all abusers. These are men with power and wealth who have gotten away with their crimes. It's time to shine a light on their demonic behavior, whether it's in the past or present. We have that power too. We have the power to end Diddy right now. He's a narcissist, okay? He cares about his image. This guy didn't change that fake, oh, rehab. When did you go to rehab, Diddy? When? When? Your son just dropped a stupid song, a so-called diss track, three days ago. Talking about, oh, the feds miss, the feds miss another place, another home. You know, taunting the feds. And then the video got out. They did that to show. Like, yeah. Like, come on. Like, cut it out. This loser paid the hotel $50,000 to not leak the video, the evidence, and yet now he's sorry. $50,000. That hotel, even though it's done, that hotel been closed since 2022, I believe. And yeah, so somebody, whoever took that money needs to be arrested too. He needs, they need to be arrested, okay? So um, Cassie's husband had this to say. As men, violence against women shouldn't be inevitable. Check your brothers, your friends, and your family. Our daughters, sisters, mothers, and wives should feel protected and loved. Hold the women in your life with the utmost regard. Men who hurt women hate women. Mm -hmm. He continued, to the abusers, you're done. You're not safe anymore. You're not protected anymore. The men by your side are just as weak. You're so miserable with yourself that death would be considered a kindness. He said underneath the post, I wrote this a while back, but the words ring true, not just today. But every day, I want my kids and every kid to live in a world that's safe for women and girls, protects them, and treats them as equals. To the women and children, you're not alone, and you are heard. If you need help, call the Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. Yeah, that's what he said. I am so glad Cassie found someone who loves her, unlike Kim, who never had a chance to experience how a man should love a woman because she didn't feel she had the strength to leave. Cassie is a survivor, and she deserves a lot more than what she received. Although Diddy cannot be charged for this situation because the statute of limitations has expired for this domestic violence situation. I think the laws need to be revised. But this is just this situation. He cannot be charged. But there are plenty of other things that did he have, you know, done even after this, after this situation in 2016. I'm sure there are things he's done 
in 2023. Yeah, just like Rod, Rod, uh, what's his name? Rodney Jones and his lawsuit. Things happened in 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, you know? And, you know, so this, yeah, so they're going to get him. He's done a lot of things still after this, this thing. And also remember... Cassie left Diddy in 2019. The last time they walked away after they went out to talk, you know, so they could really part ways, like finally, like done for good. He dropped her home and he forced himself in her house and he all worded her, you know, the all word. Yeah, he did that to her. And this was in 2019. So that right there, I don't believe the statute of limitation is it's done, it's past. I believe, yeah, it's still in that, it's less than 10 years ago. So yeah, they're going to get him. They're going to get him in so many different ways. So this right here, he won't be charged for that. The, what you see in the video, but he will be charged for other things. And believe me, the feds are still working their, they're working their ways. Okay. They have a lot of things on Diddy, a lot. Diddy will be arrested. Yes, he will. For other things, yes, he will be arrested. In a few weeks, he's going down. Diddy's done. He is so done. He thinks this apology is going to save him. No, it won't. It won't save him. So all of you guys, you know, all his supporters, Stevie J, Busta Rhymes, uh, freaking, what's his name? What's that loser name? Slam Thug? Yeah, even Slam Thug had to come out with an apology to Cassie. Freaking clown. Freaking losers. <laughs> Anyways, so what are your thoughts on this Diddy apology? Do you believe him? Do you think he's sincere? Do you forgive him? Because it was for you guys. It wasn't for Cassie. But do you forgive Diddy? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in. Please like. Please subscribe for more. And please share this video. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.